Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Inazalea and today I have something really exciting for you guys. I just got back from my vacation from Spain and Panasonic gave me an amazing opportunity to test a camera before it actually came to the market. I couldn't say anything about it but today I can finally release the review. As you can see I also did a minor tweaking to the office, I thought it was a little bit of time to, to spice it a little bit up, I also had all my gear lying around the entire room here so I bought two IKEA closets where I can store all the camera gear which is really awesome I know you guys probably don't care but I'm super happy that I finally have like an official office where I can put all my stuff away without being it messy because I can concentrate I can be productive when I'm in a messy place so clean office got back from vacation let's go for a fresh start <laughs> By the way, if you enjoy my video, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. Definitely hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Alright, so for the people that don't know me yet, I'm Ines Alea and I'm a filmmaker. It's a big passion of mine. But for a long time I'm also experimenting with photography, it widens my field of view, it inspires me and it motivates me. It allows me to experiment a little bit more with composition and ask me for a greater reason why I captured that specific angle. It really makes me a better filmmaker. I think that everything is connected and if you want to change your dreams, have your own voice, I'm a true believer that you need to experiment in multiple fields in order to find your unique style. So if you're a filmmaker, experiment with music, experiment with photography, anything else to create your unique filmmaking style. So now, taking pictures is amazing. It allows you to capture your moments in your unique view, how you experienced those moments, how it made you feel. In video you have different shots, different angles that allow you a little bit more freedom. If you mess up in one shot, you still have the other shot that looks amazing and the, the, the final result is the only thing that matters. But in photo you can only take a few photos, so you have to take more time thinking over a specific shot, the composition and the reason behind it. Of course you can take thousands of photos, come back to the office and then decide what photo you're gonna be using. I really love doing that but I had one problem, the size of my camera compared to the quality of the image. I didn't like compact cameras because the quality wasn't on point and I hated taking a big camera with me all the time on every single trip I go and carry all the weight all the day and just struggle with an immense camera just sitting beside you. So finally there is a solution for me and that is the Panasonic LX100 II. It's super common compact but professional photography camera, full of manual options. If you compare it to my Panasonic GH5, you can really see the difference in size and probably guess the weight, <laughs> so that's already a great plus. I've been blessed with the opportunity to test this camera out before it came out on the market. An amazing experience to be one of the first hands-on people. Now in the time that I have used it, I want to tell you my true and honest opinion about this camera. I won't go over every single setting and option and technical details, I'll just point out my favorite ones in this video. The Lumix LX100 II with a new 17 megapixel multi-aspect micro four-thirds sensor featuring an f1.7 Leica lens for stunning low-light photography and it also allows you to record 4K video which is also really amazing. The sensor of this new model is so big compared to the size of the camera and it's the only camera actually that is so small that has such a big sensor with increased resolution allowing you to take super crisp photos and allowing you to bump up your ISO, reduce the grain in your photos uh, that comes with your photo in low light. Even at max ISO of 25,600 it produces the finest detail from corner to corner so that's really amazing. The lens is a Leica versatile zoom lens, a 35 millimeter equivalent, a 24 to 75 5 mm f1.7 to f2.8 with an optical image stabilizer. It captures beautiful bokeh because of its 9 blade aperture diaphragm. There is also an option to snap a micro autofocus as close up to 3 cm to the camera to create those unique experiences. Capturing everything that is small and close which is really wonderful like insects and so on. 
You also have the option to select post focus, which allows you to focus on your desired point after even taking the photo. And of course, it's necessary that you take the photo on a tripod or very steady in order for this to work. But in my case, it actually worked with a handheld photo. I just hold it very steady and I took a photo and then afterwards I could do post focusing, which is incredibly awesome for micro photography as the objects fall out of focus very quickly. The new live viewfinder has an increased resolution and reproduces 100% color accuracy. The Lumix LX100 too comes with all the amazing features from a variety of Lumix camera's best options, including the amazing options for advanced photographers. It allows direct intuitive control with the dedicated rings and dials such as the aperture ring, the control ring, the shutter speed dial or the exposure compensation dial. And of course it captures everything in RAW with plenty of options to choose your desired look and camera. This camera is even capable of recording smooth high resolution 4K video with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 at 30 and 25 FPS or 24 FPS in MP4. Taking the advantage of 4K technology, user can capture the fleeting photo opportunities at 30 FPS in 4K resolution called 4K Photo. In the 4K Burst, they now have an auto marking function which allows you to see photos with drastic differences quickly. So instead of reviewing hundreds of photos, you can use those markers as a reference to see every drastic difference when someone smiles or doesn't smile, makes a sound or whatever. The autofocus is also improved drastically, that's lightning fast, so you can capture your moments with more confidence. You also have some options to edit your photos within your cameras, removing people from the photos, changing the colors, applying filters and so on. Although this is not something I would do, it could be fun to play around with if you're not so comfortable with editing your photos on a computer. You can also connect your phone to the camera through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to capture wirelessly. A great option when you're doing long exposure photos and you don't want any shake in your photo from pressing the shutter button which is something that a lot of beginners have problems with or when you're taking family selfies for example you can just use your phone to snap that shutter button. Alright so my conclusion of this camera is that it's super compact and amazing for professional and photographers. It takes beautiful raw photos and looks stunning in low light. It's equipped with a Leica f1.7 lens, which means that you can be sure that the quality of the lens is on point and very great for low light or shallow depth of field photography. It's a nice zoom lens from 24 to 75 millimeters, which is ideal for portraits or landscape photography. And it also has a really cool macro function for amazing close-ups of insects or anything that comes close to the camera like watches, which are one of my favorite things. <laughs> so it also has a star focus option so you can take amazing photographs of the galaxy, unfortunately not beyond. So basically it comes with everything you need to run and gun as a photographer and walk comfortably with not too much weight to carry around and you also have the option to create some really beautiful 4k video. Everything pops out quickly to snap your photo. Alright so that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did give this video a like, also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Apart from that check out our website, we have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists and if you buy something you really help to support this channel so that would be awesome and then I hope to see you in the next one, goodbye.